today is June 1st, 2022. It is a Wednesday, and today I'm going to replicate this bottle because it's something I can do a little bit quickly. So I'm going to go to Preferences and turn off my Emily Numpad, Control 2. Um, to add a subdivision modifier, you can do the same by just going Add Modifier and clicking Subdivision Surface. I'm going to click on N to turn on my shortcut, which will bring the, you know, that panel there. Uh, I'm going to go to Front View by clicking the button under the Escape key, um, Edit Mode by clicking on Tab, or you can go top left here and just click on Edit Mode. Um, then I'm going to just maybe scale it on the Z axis, which is the blue axis over here, the C, so S and then Z, do something like that. Actually, you know, now that I think about it, it's more like a cylinder, so maybe we can treat it as such. I'll do Shift A, and I'll actually add a cylinder instead. Um, and then I'll just scale this on the Z axis by pressing SX, I mean SZ, or SZ. And then I'll kind of, let me just kind of line it up there. So what I'll do is I'll do edit mode, I'll do control R, hover over an edge, and kind of just do something like that. Um, and do something like that here. And do another control R. Oops. Over here. And go all the way up here. And then maybe do another control R and put it in the middle between those two and just scale a little bit down like that. And then do the same here. So put another one right here, put another control R in between those two so that when you scale this one, nothing else is affected. All right. And then we have something that looks like this. Um, and let's talk about something. Maybe we can do like a control to add some bevel. Actually, let me go to edit mode. Um, I'm not sure how I want to do this. Maybe vertices. So select, do alt, select vertices. Control B. Now let's look at crayon. Um, I want it to be more rounder. So, or maybe it's not rounder. Maybe it's just like that. I'll just right click shade smooth. Um, I don't know, it's weird. Maybe I could alt and select this edge and then scale it a little bit more. Alt, select the edge in the middle, scale it a little bit more. No, it just looks weird, never mind. Do control Z, control Z, control Z. Alright, um, we'll leave it at that. And then I'll do front, and then I'll do shift A, I'll add a text. Um, I'll rotate it over here, go to object, um, properties, rotate it maybe on the X by 90 degrees. I went to edit mode to change what it says. It actually says capsule pure analogy. And I'll also rotate it on the Y negative 90 and then scale it downwards. Oops. Move it over here. And I'll actually use the shrink wrap modifier. So I'll go to modifiers, go to add modifier, shrink wrap, um, target this. Ooh, that's ugly. Never mind. Um, let me move it G Y to move it up here. I just need it to um there we go. So basically what I did was I just moved this so that it sticks um or like to the curve of this bottle. By using the shrink wrap modifier and the target is the cylinder right which i can also call the bottle um so then and it looks a little funky so the way we fix that is if you go to object data properties um which is over here this little a um you can go down to geometry and give it a depth of maybe 0 0.01 or 0 0.4 well, not 0 0.5 0 0.05 something like that and it's it's just a little weird so maybe offset to one Oop. hold on let's just explore a little bit here where's the extrude i never called you cortana it's looking weird 
maybe the depth something like this or scale it maybe move it on the Z um, let me look at front view G to move it on the middle it's just looking so weird okay but then in this case let's extrude a bit Three point zero three, or maybe we go here and add a um, solidify modifier. There we go. Just do one instead and do zero point zero three, maybe like that. It just looks a little weird. Well, how about we do pretty? Whoa, that's really bad. There we go. But it's not on it anymore, isn't that great? Okay, there we go. We experienced, or what do you call it? Um, experimented. So project for the wrap method and do the z set axis and then negative and positive. Alright. So I think we're going to leave it as that. I'm going to go object data properties, go to font, go to the folder, and maybe try to find something that's very thin like that, that has kind of like a rounded C, something like that. And then go down here to character spacing, and we put 2, oops, and maybe like 1.3. Oh, and it's not caps lock. Hold on. and turned off, um, and not turned off, but I went to geometry and just set the depth to zero because the modifier, the solidify modifier, basically accounts for that. Um, and then um, I also set the character spacing a little bit lower and scaled it a little bit down. Um, and now to the actual texture. So let me save this before going into anything. Um, okay, so it's 122. Let's go to the material preview by clicking up here, right, top right. Alright, and then I'm going to go here, I'm going to material properties, click on new, and I'll just be changing the base color to black. So bringing that all the way down. Um, we could always make it a little bit bolder, so I'll go back to Object, Data Properties. Um, let's see. Where's the Y? Maybe something like that. I don't know. It's okay. Um, actually, no, I just feel like it's, it's bolder, though. 
but I don't want too bold. Okay, this is fine. Um, and then I'll go to this bottle and I'll go to material properties, click on new. I'm going to go to my color picker. Where did I get this image from? Did I close the tab? All right, so I'm gonna use my color picker, hover over the color. And then some metallic to one, but kind of not. I kind of want it to be maybe 50 percent, kind of something like that. Um, it seems to be very steel like, like not as um, shiny. Uh, something like that. Um, I think that's a little still a little bit too shiny. Um, let's see. Ooh. Interesting. Clear coat zero. IQR. No, I'm just exploring with a little bit of things here. Um, alright, so I think that's it. Um, only thing is the splash. I mean, do I really want to do that? Do I really want to? I guess we could. I guess we could. Let's try it. First of all, I'm going to go over here, go to modifiers, and apply it. Are you kidding me? What do you mean? And apply this. Really? What are you talking about? Control A. Am I going crazy? Oh, do I have to convert it to mesh? Um, convert. Object, convert to mesh oh there we go so now okay um then i'm going to join these two things um by pressing right click join so now they're one thing they're just a bottle all right and then now i'm going to set up a little setting here so uh, i'm going to do shift a out of plane scale it up to like five maybe not five maybe like 12. and i will basically move the bottle on the z-axis until it's kind of like up and that and will help me do that so if, if i do shift tab and then just do that it will snap to the actually i have it set to increment so make sure it's snapped to face gz over here just hover over and now it's on top of the plane um, so you could do that by doing shift tab or just clicking on this thing here on the magnet All right, so it needs to be a line on the floor. So I'm going to go to object properties and then Maybe do negative 90 for the X All right, and then make sure that it's lying on the floor. So GZ again turn on snapping by shift tab GZ make sure you have it snap to face All right, so that's what's happening currently and then what I think I'm gonna do oops why does this look pointy? Why does it look like that? Anyway, um, what I think I'm going to do is do, like, let's say a domain. So shift A, I'll do a, a cube. I'll scale it upwards. G, Z. Snap to face. Let me go this way. G, Z. Snap to the face. No. There we go. And I'm going to turn on wireframe view so I can actually see what's going on right now. Um, so at this point, I'm going to go to physics properties and go to fluid, go to type, make it a domain. So basically, this is where all the water is going to be. So like the water won't get out of this square, this cube, not square. Domain type to liquid. Um, we'll scroll all the way down, click on mesh. Basically, what that's going to do is that once we add um, our our are like flow the flow is what's going to be 
how do I say this? The flow is what's going to be our water. So I'll show you. So I'll do shift A and add a UV sphere, do GZ and then do fluid. This is going to be our flow, um, turn flow type to liquid and then geometry. So basically the geometry like the whole shape of the uv sphere the uv sphere is going to turn into water basically is what i'm trying to say and so in order to make sure that happens you want to click on so you want to toggle and select the mesh on the domain um and then you also need the effector but here's the thing um i don't think we're going to do the effector this time because i want it to seep through like i just want it to pretend like the water was placed there first and then and it doesn't even look like water it looks like gel so i think we're gonna have to go here and kind of play not no not here the domain and play with the viscosity um so turn that on or is it diffusion i think it's diffusion and it's like something like honey so turn that off and do something like water is that i want something like honey and because it's like a little it's like a gel so we'll do that and then i'll leave it as that for now i'll go to the domain by clicking on this little cube here thingy um i'm already there i just well i'll go to is resumable control s so your thing saves because it might crash and then play and then let's see what happens so it's going to go right through the mesh because we didn't tell it to have an effect Ooh, that's too much yeah no okay so actually you know what that could look good though let me pause it real quick and let me look at it nah it looks like milk well first of all let's make sure that this is shade smooth and then let's also go to materials and give it a material so i'll give it a um glass bsdf so that it looks like water so i'll turn off the roughness all the way down so you can see it's like kind of more looking like water now the iqr like me like i don't know hold on i'll turn this to something like that and then i care something like that it looks like like ew let me go to cycles um i meant to do something blue but it's like clear let me just do fff all right i'll do shift a and add a light did i just say let me go to cycles i mean let me go to um what's it called rendered view point i don't even know at this point okay turn off snapping G Z. What I'll do is I'll set up a lighting environment. So I'll do one um, from the top. I'll do Shift D, and then I'll rotate it so it looks like that. And then Shift D, um, G X, so it's on the same axis. And then just rotate it so it's like that. Um, go to top view by pressing the button under Escape key, and you can kind of see if you go to wireframe. I'm trying to see this nicely, and I can't. G on the X, G on the Y, and then rotate it. Why is it not rotating? Is it not a sun? First of all, it's supposed to be a sun, honey. It's supposed to be five. Oh, it's, that was the wrong one. He he he. Great. This is supposed to be five. Also, this is supposed to be five as a strength, and this is also supposed to be five. All right, and then the mesh itself, we're going to have to make this really small because I don't want too much. And I'm also going to do control A and apply scale to everything just in case. Anyway, um, let's go back to um, wireframe mode. And where is my domain? This is my domain. What was I going to do again? Um, that's not my domain. Hold on, I'm so confused. Physic properties domain hello thank you go all the way down maybe turn this actually we'll do once more before we turn the resolution on so let me do modular and then replay for the type and then go again oops no let me go to the keyframe zero and then start again hopefully it's not too much now i think it's too little 
and it's going to the sides. I don't want it to go to the sides. Ugh. Why? 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 Maybe we should change the velocity. Um, let me go to cycles and see. Oh, it's EV right now, not cycles. No wonder. I have to turn this into cycles. So now we can see that. Let me go through. It looks so weird. Mm, I don't know. It's so weird. What do I do? What do I do? How do I make sure it falls under a certain type of in a certain type of way. Um, let me think. Oh my god, do I have to form a mesh that looks like the shape of the of the gel? And that's how I do it, but that's going to take too long. I don't have time for that. Um, okay, let me go to physics properties. Go down here. Um, is there not a velocity thing? Particles, mesh, collections, guides. Maybe it's a guide that I need. Um, I don't even know, honestly. <sighs> you know what? It's okay. We can leave it how it is, how it was, right? So we'll do, um, go to wireframe and make this how it was so there's a lot of water maybe not too much i don't want too much control a scale go to zero here and then go down here the domain what's going on oops click on the domain um modular replay play and it's not even playing great okay so what's the issue now can we please hurry up? What the heck is this? Is planar? Is this? What? Oh my god, did Blender update? Because this wasn't here before, it was different. Interesting. Interesting. Alright. Modular, replay. It's literally not playing. How to make, um, Fluid, thicker, blender. Oh my god. Okay, so bigger viscosity. See, I totally, totally, totally. Okay, turn that on. So maybe 0. 0.5. Can we please do this now? Like, can we please work? Modular. Replay is resumable. Play. Why is it not working? Literally nothing is happening. Isn't that amazing? Did I do something wrong? Am I the problem? Am I the problem? Someone needs to let me know. Because what is going on? Like, what even? Like, where? where what is happening? Like, I can't see anything anymore. I turn off x-ray. Like, where is my stuff? I'm so confused. Um. Let 
This is crazy. This is the flow. This is the domain. Um, this is the floor. All right, so let's hide this and also hide it in render and then turn this back on. Hmm. Is this thing like joking me right now? Because I don't understand how many times do I have to. <clears throat> I'm craving um, some ramen noodles right now, like so bad. Okay, so this is taking five hours, but it's fine. It's fine. It's okay. Every day we learn something new. Um, someone better tell me what the problem is because the girl is about to literally close this. Okay, control. Like, what do I have to do? Literally, what do I have to do? Alt H, select everything. Control A, apply the scale. Like, what more? What more do I have to do? Like, let me know because I would love to know mash okay maybe do um 64 now like what like what does it want for me okay um modular replay set the keyframe to zero control s play oh so now you want to work oh it's because i forgot so when you have more settings and more stuff you need a bigger resolution or it won't play or your mesh needs to be bigger i don't even know man when it comes to fluids and don't even ask me. I just wing it. And it's still not playing. Like, literally, what is going on? I'm done. Like, I'm done. Like, I'm just closing. Or it's probably, you know what happens usually? I end up closing it and then I open the saved one and then it all of a sudden, like I open a new one and then it all of a sudden shows me that it's doing it. It's so weird. Hold on, let me try doing it. Let's see if it works. This, I'm spending such an unnecessary amount of time on this. I do, I, I was going to say I hate fluid simulations, but I don't. I love them. They're just very tedious and frustrating sometimes. What is the date today? Oh, it's midnight. Okay, wait, it's not midnight. It's right. It's like 2 a.m. Okay, wait, it's the next day. Let me think. Okay, May. No, we're in June. All right, so yesterday was June 1st, obviously. But do I want to open that or do I want to open another one? I can do this one, right? Yeah, let me open that one. And see what happens. I really, really want some ramen noodles right now. Like, so badly. We love ramen noodles. I love watching mukbangs too. I just ate like um, a whole bag of nerds. Not like a bag, like a box. <gasps> Alright, so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to go to sleep. Like, 
going to stop this and go to sleep like this water thing was not even necessary let me tell you all right so i'm just going to hide this from the render view also i'm going to hide this here and from the render view also and then i'm just going to go to material preview make sure that this background is give it like a a pure white right i want i don't know what, what's missing here it needs more zizzing what if i do like 10 why don't i see the light oh it's going to be in red mode <laughs> all right so go to top you can barely see it. Okay, you know what I'm going to do my color favorite? I'm just going to delete this white by pressing X. And let's see. I don't even know what I want to do. Top view. close this out join area and uh, let me go to edit preferences turn on emulate numpad emulate numpad is basically when you don't have a numpad because i have a logitech keyboard but doesn't it doesn't have a numpad so i can't use the shortcuts that i need um that i, I wait what wow i need to sleep i can't even speak i can't use the shortcuts that can only be done using a numpad and so when you emulate the numpad you can use your actual number um, pad at the top in replacement as your numpad but then you can't use the shortcuts for the number of tabs whatever you just have to switch in and out if you want to use whichever so that's the point so i'll do control alt zero to boo okay so let me zoom out i'll do control alt zero to align the camera to you and then i'm just going to go here top left to render image and i'm gonna go to sleep okay so we'll wait until it renders um hopefully it renders quickly i think it is rendering really quickly why is it why is it gray i set it to be i set it to be black you know what at this point let it do what it wants i don't i don't have the time for this i'm so i really really want ramen noodles like so badly like oh my god and also wings